friends, hi guys, and welcome back to another Dr. Phone video. You've probably experienced heating problems with your iPhone after a software or version update, and this is going to be a widespread issue among iPhone users. Heating problems are a common source of concern in iOS devices for a variety of reasons. So I was once asked by a worried iPhone user, my iPhone continues overheating, and I went to the location where I bought the phone, and they don't know why it is overheating, and I wanted to know why it's overheating. <laughs> So in this video, I will be answering that question. But before I go into detail, please go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe icon and remember to turn on notifications so that you may always get notified whenever we upload a new video or problem solving tips just like this. So let me begin by explaining why your iPhone is overheating after you updated to the latest version. Part 1. Why does my iPhone heat up after iOS 16 update? So the high processing speed and multitasking capabilities of iOS devices cause them to heat up naturally. However, the problem of the iPhone heating up after an iOS 16 update could be caused by a number of factors. I'll go over some of the most common reasons for your iPhone running hot after you've updated to iOS 16. Now, The first one could just be environmental factors. Your electronics will react to the surroundings in the same way that your body does. Increased atmospheric heat and radiant sunshine can also contribute to the phone heating issue, and this is especially prevalent during the summertime. The electronic components in your gadget may also be damaged if you leave it in a hot environment or near dampness, which will cause it to become hotter than usual. Next, it could also be extensive use. So working with many high power applications at the same time can also cause iOS 16 to overheat. The long gaming sessions, high brightness, live wallpapers, and several background apps, high, high camera quality usage, frame rate, and so on are common instances of excessive power usage. Operating system and application bugs could also contribute to this. So you may also notice that your iPhone becomes warm due to issues with the installed update. Also, some apps on and the smartphone may be incompatible with iOS 16. Such programs might pressure the device's processor, causing it to overheat. And it could also be your device cover. So most individuals use phone covers to conceal their iPhones and protect them, whether for aesthetic reasons or to safeguard them. Although these covers have their own benefits, overheating can be a problem. The outside casing of your iPhone naturally cools the device by, di by dissipating processing heat, but using a heat trapping cover such as a rubber case may cause the device to overheat more quickly. Now that you know the possible causes of the overheating problem, let's go ahead and take a look at how to fix it exactly. So part two is going to be effective solutions to fix iPhone overheating after iOS 16 update. So some easy methods can help you fix the overheating problem. So you can try a couple of these out. Fix number one is going to be to put it in a shady place because the iPhone can overheat due to environmental factors. Keep it away from, from direct sunlight and heated environments. They can be placed in air conditioned locations in shaded regions or under a fan. Avoid exposing your phone to extreme cold such as freezers. And you should be aware that cold temperatures are extremely damaging to various technological devices. A fast transition from a hot to a cold environment may cause further damage as well. Fix number two is to give your phone some breathing room. Intense use can sometimes cause your iPhone to get hotter than usual. Do you observe excessive heat give you uh, give your phone a rest? Allow the iPhone to sit in a cool, dry place for a while. This should help to reduce the temperature of your phone. And if you must use the smartphone at this time, it is best to reduce the screen brightness. Another good approach is to close the various apps that are operating in the background just to minimize heating. Fix number three, remove your iPhone case. As I earlier mentioned, the outside coating of your iPhone is important for keeping the processor cool by dissipating heat. Placing the device inside a cover insulates the latter's rear and traps CPU heat. This causes your iPhone to overheat. When temperatures rise above usual, remove your gadget from its cover. The trapped heat will be released to cool the iPhone. Fix number four is going to be to use professional third-party software. If none of the fix options discussed in this video ma manage to eliminate your iPhone's overheating issue following an iOS 16 update, your device's iOS system is to blame. In this instance, 
instance, it is best to go for Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS to resolve this issue. So let me tell you a little bit about this application in particular. So Dr. Phone software is a welcome help to iOS users in resolving various device related and operational concerns. You may use the toolkit to remedy practically any iPhone problem without risking data loss or mismanagement. And you can resolve the overheating problem in standard and standard working modes. Now as for part three, how to fix iPhone 16 overheating issues with Dr. Phone system repair for iOS. So the Dr. Phone app makes resolving the iPhone heating issue very simple. You must install the Dr. Phone system repair app on your computer and then follow the steps coming right up. After the app has been installed, go ahead and launch it and then select the system repair option from its welcome page. Next, go ahead and use a lightning cable to connect your iPhone to the PC. Allow the application to recognize your device and then next go ahead and select either the advanced or standard modes to maintain information security. It is best to use the standard mode. This is actually due to the fact that using this mode will not put your data in danger or loss or mismanagement of any kind. Your iPhone's model will be automatically detected along with a list of compatible iOS versions. So go ahead and select iOS 16 and then tap on the start button. And then the firmware is now downloading. Now because the file while is rather large, this may take some time, and so maintain a continuous data connection during the process. If the firmware fails to download, go ahead and click on the download button to start the process manually in your web browser. So following that, go ahead and press the select option to restore the downloaded firmware from there. Now the program is just going to confirm after it's successfully downloaded, and after successfully verifying the firmware, the following screen shows. And to begin the repair procedure, go ahead and select Fix Now. It may take a few minutes to resolve the issue. So just wait for your iPhone to restart to see whether the overheating problem has gone away. I will add a bonus to help you ensure that your iPhone is free from heat threats. So part four is going to be a bonus here. Tips to avoid iPhone overheating problems. Through frustrating and unpredictable phone, overheating problems can be avoided with simple precautions. So make use of M5 certified chargers and also repair hardware issues. Although it is natural to face a heating problem on an iOS device once in a while when the problem persists after an iOS update, there might be a problem. I have shown you some common ways to fix the issue, but if you're still faced with the issue after using them, I strongly recommend that you try using the Dr. Phone app. Also, please drop a comment in the comment section to share other methods that you think will work with me. And if you haven't subscribed, please kindly do so now, and I hope to see you all on the next video. So, have a good one.